Hey everyone, welcome to Wicode. Where in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom error page for Nginx. Specifically, we will create a custom bad gateway error page. So if you've been using Nginx, I'm sure at some point you've seen this HTML file be served up before. And so what this is, is a bad gateway error page. This is the default one that Nginx provides, but we can create our own by just a few simple directives inside our Nginx configuration, and we can create our own custom page. So here, this is one that we're serving up in a 502, where it has some little bird gif and some just text. But so this is what we're gonna make in this video. And we're also gonna be working with Nginx inside Docker using Docker Compose. But so before we begin, let's go over what a bad gateway error is. So a bad gateway error or 502 status code is an error indicating that Nginx or any other software acting as a gateway received an invalid response from an upstream server. For example, say Nginx is acting as a reverse proxy for a node application server, which it's commonly used for. Well, if the node application server is down, then Nginx will return a bad gateway error. So for us, this 502 error is being returned because we have a node server that is missing or has a syntax error. So the app is crashed. And then we have it set Nginx configured as a reverse proxy for this node server. So when it proxies the request to the server, the server's crashed, so what we get back is a 502 error. And by default, when Nginx receives this gateway error, it returns a plain 502 error page, the one we saw earlier, but we can configure it to return a custom HTML page like the one we have here. So to set up this scenario, what I've used is Docker Compose and Docker. Specifically, what we have here is we have a node container or a node image and an Nginx image. This node server is simply just an express app. So if I show you the index.js file, it's just an express app with a syntax error right here. And it just receives requests this route and sends back, hi, how are you? And there's nothing really special there, but what's of importance to us is these two volumes right here. So the first volume here, default.conf or default configuration is this file right here. And it is ultimately what will be imported into the main Nginx configuration file which is nginx.conf. Let me also, maybe this bird is getting annoying. Let me move this full screen. So this here will ultimately be imported into our nginx configuration file or the main configuration file called nginx.conf. The next volume, this here, isn't the HTML file that we are serving up. So just my 502 to HTML. And we can see we have this image source and this custom text. But what our configuration file does is it forwards requests from Nginx to our node server by using this proxy pass directive right here. So this proxy pass directive tells Nginx where to forward a request. Specifically, it's used inside a location block or a location context to pass a request to an HTTP server. But as we've seen, when this node server is down, we'll receive a 502 gateway error. Also, something important to note is we set the root to dash etc dash Nginx because this is where we are placing our HTML file. So we can see we're mapping it to Nginx, the root folder, root location that we have defined here. But so to create a custom 502 gateway error page, we first need to tell Nginx where to send 502 errors to. And this can be done with this error page directive that we have right here. And we have it at the top level of our server block. So this error page directive right here is used to display specific URIs for specific errors. For example, here we're saying when we get a 502 error code, serve up the response located at dash my502.html. Specifically what this error page directive takes is an error code as the first argument and a URI as the second argument. So this is saying for 502 error codes, return the response located here. We could also create one say for 404 errors, go to the route and return the response from dash 404.html. So that's essentially what the error page directive does. But after defining the redirect URI, so we're saying to go here, we also need to create this location. So we've created this location down here, which matches to this route. And now Nginx will serve up our custom my502.html file. And just note that this works with an empty block here because we have our root directive set to dash etc dash Nginx and our file is called my502.html. So it will serve this up or this HTML file up on this route. So just recap, if you don't know, this root directive here specifies the root directory that will be used to search for a file, which will find our my502.html file there. But so this is all it takes to create a custom 502 error page. If we, of course, say fix the error inside our node application, so do this. Now, if we run this again, 
we can see that error is gone. But if our node server goes down for some reason, either bad error handling or just something like this, we get our 502 page again. But so this is my video on creating a custom 502 error page for Nginx. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try and get back to you. But besides that, thank you for watching and have a good one.